Hey guys, Steve here from the Phonograph Stop with my newest find. This is a 1930s nifty Nerona gramophone. And it's a toy gramophone. It has a metal body on it. And uh, this very unique horn on the top here. There's the tone arm from the reproducer. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool item. Now, uh, I did a few things to it so far. Actually, I had to put a new mainspring uh, on the single spring motor in here. And uh, I got that done. That was, it was a bit challenging, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, the, the worst part about it is uh, small springs, when you're reinstalling them, they're extremely difficult. They just want to basically just shoot out at you. So you have to hold it with a lot of force um, while you're winding the spring back into the, the spring barrel. This has a two and a quarter inch um, sound box on here, a uh, mica diaphragm. Um, I actually made this horn support out of, don't laugh, out of a butter knife handle. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I also made these, uh, these felt circles on the turntable. I have also seen them with the green felt um, on this part of the turntable, on these, uh, on the star shape. But um, I started to do that, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I just I thought it looked better just with the the green circles on there. Yeah, she's got some scratches and uh, and scrapes around, and um, this paint here is actually the base paint that they used. Um, this used to have a yellowish color on the top to represent the sun, and you can see the sky in the background, and then it was a green base for the you know for the grass on the bottom. Um, I contemplated on repainting this photograph but you know what i'm gonna leave it alone i i, I actually kind of like it somebody told me the blue represents the sky i'm like there you go <laughs> so i am missing the um the speed screw here but a uh, a nice fellow collector from australia actually made me one and uh, it is on its way to me right now so i also did a little stain on this um on this crank handle this was basically bleach bleach white when i got it it, it was totally unstained i don't know what happened to it but and i rebuilt the reproducer um put a new uh mica diaphragm on there cleaned uh, cleaned it all up cleaned the needle bar and put new gaskets on here there's the back i also put a new gasket um, the flange on here, the back flange. That just about does it, guys. Um, I'll let you have a little listen to it. It's Like I said, it's going to be fast, but um, it's still a cool toy. And as soon as I get that speed part in, I will definitely be shooting a few more videos. All right, let's get it started for you. The 1930s Nifty Nerona.